Here's a list of the top 10 highest paid CEOs in Australia for 2018. All of them got paid over $10 million, with Qantas Airways boss Alan Joyce topping the list at a massive $23.876 million. According to ABS data, the average Australian full-time wage for 2018 was $86,736. That means Mr Joyce's salary is about 275 times larger than the average full-time worker. But this average is a little bit misleading. The Australian government like to quote this figure as it makes Australians look a lot richer than they actually are. It helps them promote their tax cuts for middle Australia rhetoric. But obviously, not every worker in Australia works full-time. According to the ABS, the average worker, full-time or otherwise, receives about $64,391 per year. So Mr Joyce's salary is now about 371 times higher than the average salary. But even that figure is a little a bit misleading. As a statistics guy myself, the average income that is usually quoted is the mean income, not the median. There's a big difference. The mean income is calculated by taking all the collective employee income earned in Australia and dividing it by the total number of workers. Because some people earn massive incomes, like CEOs for example, the mean is always higher than the median. The median, on the other hand, is a much more realistic way to represent actual people. If we line up every worker in Australia in order of income with with CEOs up here and the average YouTuber or Uber Eats driver down here, then the person right in the middle is the person with Australia's median wage, which is a much more sobering $57,720. By its very definition, 50% of workers earn less than this and 50% earn more. But the Grattan Institute go even further and say that even that number is misleading. People don't just earn salaries, they have investment earnings, rental income, bank interest and so on. Analyzing taxpayer income is much more appropriate. This results in a median Australian taxpayer income of $45,811. Therefore, Mr Joyce's salary is 521 times higher than the income of the typical Australian taxpayer. But we can go one step further. If you include all Australian adults, including people on unemployment benefits and pensions etc., then the median adult income is only 36893 Remembering that 50% of Australian adults earn less than this, that means Mr Joyce gets more than 657 times the income of the typical Australian adult. This guy is an abstract government creation. This guy is a real Australian who you just might see shopping at Aldi or Kmart. For example, me. If you earn more than $86,000, good on you. I used to be that guy, but then I gave it all up so that I had time to raise my family and make YouTube videos. The Australian government aren't technically lying, but they certainly are being deceptive. They will only tell you this figure. The reality is this figure. Why is this never quoted? Hmm, I wonder. And in breaking news, the Australian government are relocating the capital to Deception Bay, north of Brisbane. Experts agree that this news headline is more honest than most politicians and is certainly more factual than half the statistics coming out of Canberra. Thanks for watching.